Hello, I am Bashar Bilgeiser from the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at the University of Notre Dame. Hello, I'm Nur Mustafaoğlu, grad student in bioengineering program at University of Notre Dame. Welcome to our biotechnology and bioengineering video highlights. We would like to introduce our recent article entitled Site-Specific PEP Fragment Biotonation at the Conserved Nucleotide Binding Site for Enhanced Ebola Detection. Antibodies typically have extraordinary specificity and affinity for their antigens, which makes them very useful in a vast array of applications including detection, diagnosis, catalysis, and therapy. Each antibody typically has two antigen binding fragments, also called the fab fragments, where antigen binding and recognition takes place. The fab fragments can be separated from the rest of the antibody without losing their antigen binding ability. Due to their smaller size and comparably easier production methods, they promise to be better candidates for use in miniaturized diagnostic devices, as well as therapeutic applications. Unfortunately, commonly used modification techniques are not well suited for fab fragment modification, as they are often more delicate than intact antibodies. Fab fragments are of particular interest for sensor surface functionalization. However, because of their truncated size, they provide a smaller surface that can be used for attaching to surfaces without damaging the antigen binding site structure. Consequently, typical conjugation methods end up impeding FAB's antigen binding activity. Here, we describe a UV photocross-thinking fractionalization method that we have developed in our labs. Using this method, we site-specifically biotinylated a FAB fragment with an IBA biotin linker at the conserved nucleotide binding site without unfavorably impacting its antigen binding activity. In this study, we used the KZ52 antibody that recognizes Ebola GP proteins. We functionalized the KZ52 FAB fragments with an IBA biotin linker we synthesized. They were then immobilized on ELISA plate surfaces to be used in the detection of Ebola GP proteins. Nucleotide binding site located between the heavy and light chains of the antibody within the variable region of the FAB arms is a highly conserved region present in nearly all antibodies. While this binding site is not widely known, it has been shown that indole tributaric acid has a moderate binding affinity to the nucleotide binding site. The site-specific binding of IBA to the antibody nucleotide binding site can be used for conjugating various peptide linkers and functionalities that contain a terminal IBA molecule to antibodies. Covalent conjugation of IBA to antibody at the nucleotide binding site can be accomplished without reduction in antigen binding activity by utilizing UV energy in a photocross-linking reaction known as the UVNBS conjugation technique. The structure stability of fat fragments upon UV exposure was determined with a direct ELISA assay. Antigen binding activity of botulinated fat fragment was determined with an indirect ELISA assay. According to these results, there is no observable reduction in antigen binding activity of the FAB and detectable damage to FAB structure up to UV energies of 1 joule per centimeter square. The botulinated FAB was analyzed using ELISA in two separate experiments to examine botulination efficiency and evaluate antigen binding activity. The results of direct ELISA established that the photocross linking efficiency of IBA biotin to the FAB fragment reached a maximum FAB biotin at 1 joule per centimeter square UV exposure, and a plateau was observed above this energy suggesting that conjugation site has been saturated. The indirect ELISA results validate that almost 100% photocross linking efficiency was reached at an UV energy of 1 joule per centimeter square and there was no observable reduction in antigen binding activity up to this level of UV energy. The FAB fragment was botulinated using increasing levels of UV energy and run on STS page gel. The STS page gel demonstrates that the light chain band of the intact KZ53 antibody matches with the light chain band from the FAB fragment at the 25 kilo delta. To show the specific location of the biotonation on the FAB fragment, a western blood assay was performed by transferring protein to a neutrosol-less membrane 
and detected the bottom-latent fat fragment with HRP structivity. The results of the blotted film indicate that the bottom-latent fat fragment at the nucleotide binding site is occurring specifically at the light chain. We compare the UV and BS methods with two other commonly used immobilization methods, NHS biotin and physical absorption. KZ52 fat fragment was immobilized to 96 well place using all three methods. Antigen detection sensitivity was determined using increasing concentrations of ZIPO GPDTM as the antigen, and then an anti ZIPO GP detection antibody was added and quantified by an NHRP conjugated anti FC antibody as a reporter. This study demonstrates successful immobilization of biotinylated Ebola detecting fat fragments via the UVNBS method, yielding a 1031 fold better antigen detection sensitivity compared to direct physical absorption and two fold better antigen detection sensitivity compared to NHS biotin functionalization methods. Consequently, utilization of UVNBS method for the immobilization of fat fragments in order to design antigen recognition systems instead of intake antibody provides further advantage to miniaturized and nanoscale devices. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to enjoy reading our article.